Hey everyone, I got a package in the mail again today, so you know what that means. It's another unboxing video. This is actually sent to me from the same company who sent me that little action cam I did a review on, but this time they sent me a projector. So I'm going to do a little unboxing and uh, check out this cool little projector, see what I can do with it. Alright, here we go. Got my scissors. Gonna bust into this and see what we have here. Wow, look at those bubbles. Ooh, whoops, my baby's sleeping, so that was a bad idea. <laughs> All right, here it is, the mini projector. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. All right, I love the nice packaging these come in. It's always just a good feeling. Wow, this is way smaller than I was expecting. This is like, look at this, look at this guy. It's like tiny. <laughs> it's like a little tiny camera, but it's a projector. All right, here we have it. So this, my friends, is a projector. Pretty tiny, I think that's part of its appeal, is that it's a little portable, you can take it anywhere and uh, throw up a giant screen and show YouTube videos of parkour and stuff like that. Um, got a little mount here on the bottom, put on a stand or tripod, and got little buttons here. The inputs with DC, HDMI, and headphones. Output. Either way, we'll experiment with this later tonight when it's a bit darker so that we can get a real good idea of how this works. In the meantime, let's see what other accessories it came with. Ooh, a cool little remote. That out, that'll be nice. Got a HDMI to mini HDMI cable it looks like. Hey look, it even came with a little tripod. Nice, check that out. Let's try this out, screw it on. And there you go, there's your little tripod. All right, we got a, looks like the power cable. And the other part of the power cable. All right, looks like that's everything. Um, we'll uh, jump to the next scene of testing it out. All right, so now I'm here in my bedroom. It's nighttime, gonna be dark enough to test it out. And even if it's not completely dark, it still works pretty well. It also depends on how far away you are. But here it is, I'm gonna set it up on my little dresser right here and then connect my laptop and screen it, project it over to this wall. And it'll be perfect because I can lay the pillows here and just lay down and uh, see how it looks. And I think what I'll show you guys is some of my very first old beginning YouTube parkour videos and kind of my reaction to them and kind of talk to you about, you know, some of the things going through my mind at that time getting into parkour and things like that. So anyways, so we get a double whammy out of this video, get to experience what the projector's like, and get to hear some of my thoughts on some of my very first parkour videos. I'll also have some links to those actual videos so you can actually watch them here on YouTube. So, let's see how this works. All right, turning it on right now. There we go. The other thing I found with it is if you have to shine it at a weird angle on the wall then it'll create a weird perspective and there's no options to really adjust that perspective so you really just have to set as parallel and straight onto the wall as possible otherwise you're gonna get weird things happening so I can tell it does have a fan that's kicking in I don't know if you can hear that right now um, it's not super loud but you know there is a, a noise there probably to keep it cool since it's Pretty strong light for a little guy. All right, let's load up our first video right off YouTube. So the next video I'm gonna show you was actually a video I made for my high school talent show that I was super proud of, and a lot of people got to know who I was because of it, so I felt super cool at the time. Whereas when I first started parkour, I kind of felt like the geeky, nerdy kid at school. But anyways, here it is. I'm gonna turn the sound off after the beginning because the music is copyrighted music, but it'll give you an idea. This 
This is when I really started progressing in my parkour abilities and just felt very confident in flips and acrobatics and just trying like a lot of new things like three step wall flip off of a tree, um, cool palm spin variation, side flip over those stairs there was like, even that still scares me to this day because of how big of a and long of a jump it is. Um, just always looking for different places to play around and do stuff. The thing was back then, it wasn't like I was always just, you know, going out and setting it part time to train parkour. It was just, I was always doing parkour. No matter where I was, what I was doing, I was just always looking for places to do parkour if I was at school. Um, and then <laughs> I have this video kind of lead right into a little chase scene. I don't know exactly the story I was going for, more just like my friends from high school, I had them be these like bad guy agents who like need to bring me in for some reason. So they start chasing me and so we turn it into a little parkour chase scene. Um, there's not, you know, much to it except we just, you know, look for spots to do parkour and just film us running after each other. There was my pointless 720 vault, <laughs> um, just to look flashy and cool. Running, gotta have a couple running shots in there. <clears throat> that was a fun cat leap to do. That was like the first spot I found where I could do a, a cat leap to a level wall, where you're actually kind of dropping to the wall and not jumping up the wall, which is a bit more difficult to do it that way. They couldn't do it, so I was like the cool guy who outran, outruns them, but somehow they still catch up with me and end up on a rooftop, and then da 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 dead end. Even though it's not really, I could have jumped that, but we had to figure out a way to film it real quick before it got dark, as you can see the sun setting in the background. Then here we threw together a super fast fight scene that <laughs> looks pretty bad, but it was fun to do, and fun to just play around with it. <laughs> it throws me on the ground. That was like my first stunt fall on a video, and then bam! knock me in the head, <laughs> and wake up in class, and realize it was all just a dream, and there are my two friends who are chasing me are sitting there in class. But <laughs> this is a pretty accurate representation of what, how I, what I daydreamed when I was in school. This is like always what I was thinking about was parkour, weird action scenes, and things like that. Um, but here's some fun little falls, <laughs> messing up at some of the tricks. Or just some close calls, like almost falling on my butt there. And I did fall on my butt there. And then this is just a classic one. If you've seen any of my fellow videos, you've definitely seen that one. And over-rotated, fell on my butt. And under-rotated, fell on a belly flop. And then this one's the best one. Whoa-bam! Whiplash right there. <laughs> I remember that. Surprisingly, it didn't really hurt my butt that much. Just got decent whiplash after that, and uh, and then had to go home after that. So that's probably not the best way to show you my videos on a projector on a camera because it's just not going to capture the same quality and look as good. So definitely go check out those actual videos with the links I'll have in the description so you can go watch them and see see them in their full glory, which was still only like 480p at the time. <laughs> but anyways. Um, hope you guys enjoyed kind of hearing my little commentary on my first parkour videos. Let me know if you have any questions about when I first started parkour. I know I've probably talked about it a lot over the years, but um, just to do an overview, this is a fun little projector. You know, it's not, I wouldn't say it's perfect if you want something solid and something that's going to be set in place to just be your standard kind of like theater screen or whatever, just because it it's missing some features that allows it to really set it up in a way that's perfect for that. But it's more meant to be portable anyways, so if you want to take it with you when you're traveling or to a friend's or whatever, just to have a quick screen to throw up and, you know, make it as big as you want, then it's a great option and something to look into. So I'll have a link to where you can check out this projector in the description. But otherwise, I think that's all I have for you today, so thank you everyone for watching, and we'll see you next time.